Okay. okay. Welcome everyone to our second new consultant training tonight. This is, we did one on uh, May 15th and then we're doing it again um, tonight for you guys. So please stay till the end because um, these fabulous leaders that are running this training tonight are going to draw two names for prizes. So you're going to want to stay till the very end to be eligible. You have to be live and on to win. Um, we're so excited. So I am Jacqueline Roy. I'm a superstar director with Cincy. I've been in for almost 12 years and I was an ICU nurse before I quit my job. Um, I just do Cincy. Um, I'm very blessed to have these incredible leaders you're going to hear from tonight underneath me and they have become some of my dearest friends. So I'm excited that you get to hear from them. They truly are some of the top leaders in all of Sensi. Um, I'm just going to announce a few of them and then they're going to share a lot more about themselves. But um, Denise Chardonnay, she is um, one of the sweetest, most amazing, most um, giving, um, if I would say motherly, um, successful consultants that you'll meet. She uh, loves to recruit. She loves to share Cincy. She's been on every Cincy incentive um, since she's joined. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure she'll tell more about herself in a minute, um, but she's incredible. So you guys are blessed to hear from her tonight. Patty Wonder, pink haired Patty. Um, she is in New Zealand and she is a little spitfire. She is one of the most successful consultants in all of New Zealand, if not the most. She is top on team also volume, personal volume, um, almost every month. Her team and herself are top five or top three every month. So she's a rock star. Pink haired Patty, you, you will not forget Patty. She's incredible. Um, and she also earns pretty much every incentive trip. I think she's earned every one since she's been in. Um, and then we have Kelsey Smith. Uh, Kelsey Smith is awesome. She's from Washington. She... Um, just earned top 100 out of all since he has a company. So incredible. She earned, she was a top 100 earner. She has only been in for a short time and she has done so many incredible things. So make sure, I mean, she's, she's awesome. You'll see that. She's got some great ideas too. And then Shonda Clayton, she's out at the lake. She's making us super jealous of her beautiful view. Shonda was also a top 100 earner for all of Cincy for the whole entire company. Um, she is determined. She's driven. She's been in for a long time. She's, um, you know, she's pretty much done everything. She's hit brick walls like some of us, some of you will. She's um, gone through those. She's now doubling and tripling her team wholesale volume. She's recruiting like crazy. Um, her and Kelsey also earn every incentive trip. So with that being said, I just wanted to tell you, because I know that they're going to tell you a little bit about themselves, but I want to personally brag about them because they are four of my most successful, amazing leaders and friends. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to them. They're going to run this tonight. So I'm going to take my face off here and let these pretty ladies talk to you tonight. I will record this on YouTube afterwards. So if you have to get off early or if you want to share it with all your downline that are new, because I hope you are recruiting even if you're new, I'm going to give the links to all my leaders afterwards to share. So um, who is kicking off first? Me. Go for it, girl. Okay, so this is really funny um, because earlier I thought I'm gonna take a second and let's be real, I took like 45 minutes, which isn't a lot of time, and go read, start reading this book that I've always wanted to read. So I go out to the patio and I get my book and I open it and I start reading it. And I got through two chapters in my 45 minutes and the way that Jacqueline just introduced herself was something that they talked about in the book. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, like that is so good. It was, hi, my name's Kelsey Smith. I'm a star director with Sensi. And then they added God willing. Um, and I lead team chaos. And I'm like, as I was listening to her just now, I'm like, oh my gosh, like she totally just did that. And it was just something that I learned, but that's okay because I'm like, that's totally how I'm going to, how we should introduce ourselves. Whether it's, hi, I'm Kelsey Smith. I'm Matt's wife, God willing. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm the wife and mom of the Smith family. However, but I thought that was awesome. And I loved how Jack just did that with who knows if she has even read the book that I was reading. Um, but Anyway, I am a star director. I live in Washington State, 
And I joined Sensi um, in December of 2016. Uh, and when I joined, I honestly thought, I'm sure you guys have probably seen the chart that shows like kidnapper and what a kidnapper is. Um, what's the other one? Like hobbyist, part-time and full-time. I thought that I was a hobbyist. I'm like, that's what I'm going to be. And it's okay. You can be any of those. But coffee each month, I was just going to sell it to friends and family. I wanted nothing to do with parties. None of it. All I wanted was instantly, I like, I fell in love. I fell in love with more so with the community and the friends that I was like instantly getting because I jumped into that without realizing that that's what I wanted. That's what I found that I wanted. And so I instantly just jumped in and went for it. And I'm a super, super shy person. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you the last 15 minutes before. Before I got on here, I have my Fitbit on and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out and freaking out that I have to do this tonight. You guys, my heart rate was like 125. And I'm like, why, why do I, why am I acting like this? Like I've done lots of these calls. Like I can do this. So I had to start speaking some positive affirmations into myself for my heart rate to go down. But <laughs> I just had my little five minutes of panic there, which before Sensi ever came into my life and I opened myself up to what the possibilities of this, um, I would have been panicked about this call for days. And I mean, days. And that five minutes, I mean, that's huge that it was only five minutes and I could just talk myself right out of it. But so when I joined uh, in my first month, I um, earned Shooting Star. I double promoted from certified to lead. Um, I earned sensational start level three. And I was just thinking today when I was kind of going through all of this, um, I wonder, I know that I earned sensational start level three on my 70th day, but what I don't know is like in that, I know it was like that last week leading up to my 70th day. I don't know exactly what day I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. I'm so close. And I can just remember like, hustling it out and busting it out to get that and it was like doing that and everyone at the time you don't realize it like I know you guys right now you don't realize like what earning these awards and starting off like strong and doing all this stuff means because I can remember I earned that and you would have thought that I like was a gold medalist at the Olympics the way people were acting and I'm like why are like this isn't a big deal you guys, it's a huge deal. It is such a huge deal. So nine months um, into my journey, I promoted to director. And then exactly a year later, um, I promoted to star director, which was just this past September. So my journey has been fast um, and furious. And uh, it's not it's not going to be how your journey ends up. My journey is not your journey. And the next person's journey is not your journey. Your journey is your own journey. And that is the one thing that you have to remember through all of this. So, um, the, that's about me, my story in a nutshell. Um, but what I want to talk about is the awards, like your first awards that you can earn with Sensi. The first one being shooting star, which is in your first 15 days. And today I pulled up all of the statistics on it. 24 to 29% of new consultants earn shooting star. First 15 days, 500 PRV in orders. Now, that may seem daunting, but if you're having a launch party, it's so doable. Um, the rewards that you reap from earning this are a charm bracelet. I wish I had mine hanging here. My charm bracelet's in a jar. My a charm bracelet and a little shooting star charm. Um, and you unlock an enhancement kit that is $200. Patty, I'm going to ask you right now if you will please put in the chat the New Zealand and Australia prices because I'm I don't have them written down. So if you want to do that, 200 US dollars is the um, enhancement kit. I know right now it has a diffuser, a Sensi Go, a warmer, so much stuff. It's basically 
about 50% off, but you're earning PRV for it. So which means you're getting paid commission. So you're, you're buying it for $200, but if you're certified, when you buy it, you're getting 25% back. So you're buying it for $150. That alone is worth it for the diffuser that you're getting. So that's your first award. First 15 days, 500 PRV. Um, then you have sensational start, which is three levels. Um, and this is in 70 days. So you, from the, from the second you click join or submit, whatever you click, um, you start, you are starting to earn these awards. So level one of sensational start is 1500 PRV or 500 PRV and one active recruit. So an active recruit has to have 200 PRV to be active. Level one, you're getting $50 in product credit, which is going to be put into like your account. So when you go to check out from an order and you click the little drop down bar where it says um, credit card and you can change it to like pay portal product credit, that's where it's going to be. 17.5% um, of consultants earn level one. So you're getting your product credit. You're getting lapel pins. I should have been more prepared and had all this stuff out to show you guys, but you're getting lapel pins, um, like a little pin, you know, that you'd put like on your lapel and a certificate of achievement. Um, okay, level two is 5.3% of consultants earn level two. 3,000 PRV or 1,500 PRV and still only one active recruit. What you're getting, $125 in product credit both level one and two lapel pins and level one and two certificates of achievement and an exclusive warmer that I'll show you at the end of all of this um, because it's out on my desk. So that's level two on my page. Level three, less than 1% of consultants earn level three, which you now understand why when everyone was freaking out and I thought they were acting like I had just won an Olympic gold medal, this is why. 6,000 PRV or 3,000 PRV and 200 or two active recruits, $225 in product credit, level one, two, and three lapel pins, level one, two, and three certificates of achievement, um, a trophy, which I'll show you here in a minute, the exclusive warmer, and then level three is amazing because at SFR, Sensi Family Reunion, you're recognized on this big, huge, like, poster, bigger than, way bigger than yourself, has your name on it, and all the sensational start level three earners and you stand there and you point to your name and you smile real big because your name's there and then you get to walk across the stage and be recognized and I think typically you get to shake Heidi and Orville's hand as you walk across the stage and you also are recognized on the news tab in the workstation. So sensational start, all three levels, you can earn all three, um, 70 days. So Next, this isn't really like an award, but I thought that this was worth touching on is your first promotion, which is certified consultant. So when you achieve shooting star, you're halfway to certified consultant because certified consultant is a thousand PRV and that's your first like a thousand lifetime PRV. That is your first promotion. You get a 5% lifetime bonus, which means you'll be making 25% commission on everything. And um, right now, if you join April 1st or after, and you certify between now and July 31st, you can register for Sensi Family Reunion for only $99. It's 350 for the rest of us. So that's a huge incentive. And so you're getting a 5% lifetime bonus. You're registering for your very first Sensi Family Reunion for only $99. Amazing. 
totally, totally worth going after. And then um, last, what I wanted to talk about is our current incentive. Um, anyone can earn this incentive, like you. I'm talking to you, anyone can earn this incentive. If you just joined yesterday, you can earn this incentive. Um, it's for, it's called the Slingshot Incentive. It's for a shopping spree at Nike, um, Tiffany's, Apple, or Marriott. And there's different levels. So the first level is level one, a thousand PRV and one certified recruit. So you and one of your friends both sell 2,000 or 1,000 PRV each. You've earned level one. You're getting the new season scent kit. So the new season scent kit is um, at the change of every season. They release to us a little bit early a bar of every scent that's worth, it's worth $85. You're getting that when you earn level one. An exclusive warmer and then 500 points for our fall incentive that usually starts August 1st. I'm, am I right? I think so. Usually starts August 1st. Level two is 2,500 PRV and two of your friends joining and getting certified. Um, when you reach level two, you're getting the new season scent and the new season home kit. The home kit is I don't know, five to six of the new warmers that are coming out. Um, you're getting an exclusive diffuser designed just for this incentive, and you're getting 1,500 points for the fall incentive. Or you can scratch all of that and take a $300 shopping spree to one of the four places that I talked about when I first started telling you about this. And then level three, is 3,500 PRV and three of your friends joining you and becoming certified. With that, you're choosing between a thousand dollar shopping spree to one of the four places, or you're getting the new season home and scent kit, the exclusive warmer and diffuser, um, 3,000 points for fall incentive, one free year of Maven, $100 in success store credit, and a $500 shopping spree for level three. This incentive is the most achievable incentive in my two and a half years that we've had. It is so doable and I love that you could have joined three hours ago and you can start earning this. That's how doable it is. So I'm gonna take you real quick um, with me out here so that you can see the Sensational Start um, trophy and warmer. And then I will hand you guys off to Denise. So here's the little trophy you get. It's kind of like a little paperweight. And then, shoot, can I turn this screen? Yeah. So there you have it. All right guys, I'm gonna hand this over to Denise and we'll continue on. Well, I am Denise, even though my name says Thomas. <laughs> That's my husband. Um, <laughs> don't know why this laptop puts that up there. So I apologize for the kind of fuzziness. I've tried forever to get that off my screen. I don't know how. Um, I am so blessed to be here with this group of rock star ladies and with all of you all, men and women, um, that I'm assuming um, are pretty much new consultants, although I see some long-term uh, consultants on here. So let me jump right in. I'm going to tell you just a little bit about myself, and then I'm going to tell you what you need to do to get this started and earn those awards that she just told you about. Okay. I've been in since it'll be eight years this August. Um, I earned Shooting Star, which she talked about, Sensational Start 3. Um, I have earned every incentive trip um, since I started. And I've earned Annual Sales Award three years in a row, which what that is, is you have to sell 30,000 PRV 
in one year from May to April to achieve that. And you know why I work for that so hard, ladies and gentlemen? It's a thousand dollar bonus. And it always comes like the first of June, so I'm fixing to get it here real quickly. And it always really helps out um, when you're going to reunion, which is usually in July. So that's probably one of the things that, that and the trips, but annual sales award is a must. Recruiting is very, very important but I love some of those awards for selling. I love what I do. I, my passion for this is like no other. And I came upon this in a very awkward, not so delightful way. I've been married 33 years and my only child was murdered 10 years ago. And um, I'm not going to go into the long story because it takes too long, only to tell you that my life was upside down. I'd been a state worker for the state of Texas for over 25 years, had no intentions of retiring before I was 65 years old, had started at the very bottom and worked my way up and wanted to stay on the up for a long time. Needless to say, my world changed. Um, all I wanted to do was die. And be with my son. Um, I then was stricken with cancer, four different kinds of cancer, four different times, 18 months after my son was killed. Consequently, I retired from my job. I'm here to say I'm a survivor. I'm not only a survivor of cancer, Patty, I'm a survivor of grief, right, girl? And there is a thing being a survivor of grief. So I was invited to a Scentsy party, had no idea what Scentsy was, but I burned about 10 candles a day to make my house smell good. Thought the whole thing was just a crock, but I ordered it because I felt sorry for the person. I ordered the Scentsy, it came to my house. I loved how my, how my room smelled and um, kept praying. What was I gonna do? I'd been through all my chemo, radiation, my son was gone. I wasn't bringing him back. I don't mean to minimize that. It's a matter of reality with what I was going to do. I had been through the trial of the person who murdered my son. Now what? I kept praying and praying and praying, and I kept being told that I should try Sensi. I kept saying no. One afternoon, rubber hit the road. My husband said, you got to go back to work. You got to do something. You're 55 years old. I went and prayed about it, and God said, I am going to take you through this, Denise, if you just take the first step. I said, okay. I called the woman, and this is a learning lesson. This is my motto. It only takes one. I called the woman who had the party, who, by the way, never asked me to join, never asked me to have a party, probably because I was a blurbering mess. Eyes swollen out to here, hair in a ponytail, cried when people talked to me. That's called prejudging, which I have a real, real issue about. That's why you never prejudge for a sale, a referral, or a recruit. Because guess what? I consider myself pretty successful. But chances are that person's not going to come begging you. But I came begging the sponsor that I have. I called her and I said, I want to join Cynthia. And she said, What? Um, I said, yeah, and off I went. I had no clue what I was doing. I, not a computer whiz, had to learn everything, cried every time I put an order in because I couldn't figure it out. And I learned, and I earned, and I just kept, I just took off, followed the rules, did the launch party. Then I learned all these awards that Kelsey was talking about. I worked for the state over 30 years. Nobody ever gave me anything for working hard. I was like, what? I could earn a free warmer? What? I could earn, a I mean, I'm telling y'all, I was so excited. So I was so motivated by the incentives. No, sto no lie here. Joined in August, got started in about September. I get an email in January that I won a trip to Putacana for two people. I thought it was spam. I didn't even know I was working for a trip. 
I called Cincy, told him it was a spam. No, Denise, you've earned this. I still didn't believe it because I couldn't believe anybody would give me anything just for doing my job. Just for doing my job. Consequently, we did go. Um, I have a picture right there of my husband and I on the beach. We did go change my world. In general, Cincy has changed my world. I truly would not be here if it wasn't for Cincy. And I don't say that lightly. When you think of me, I want people to think of me as the person who has hope because, um, yes, Shonda, you did take the remake of that picture. Um, because you know what? I was the most least likely person to succeed at this business. My husband, who is now my biggest cheerleader, some of you know him, told him that I told me the first month in the business, I could not sell water to somebody in the desert. And I was like, well, I'm going to try to sell these wax and warmers. I may not be able to sell water. Never sold a thing. Didn't know how to sell a thing. Now, my husband was a big time salesman, helped me a lot. So think of if this is something that nobody could do, that was me. And I have been more than successful at this. And more than anything, I've been blessed with so many friends, relationships. I've learned so much. I will go to my deathbed. Selling Cincy. I was kidding somebody the other day. I'm said I'm getting up there in years now. When I go to the nursing home, I'm gonna have a little table set up with my warmer and my catalogs. I'm gonna be selling my Cincy right there in the nursing home. Oh, there's my buddy. Hi, Jackson. Sorry. Um, that's one of my um relationships that I've built that I'm so blessed to have. Hi, Jackson. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the launch party. All right. I have notes because I could talk for hours because you all, I love this. I wouldn't want to be doing anything else right now other than having a Scentsy party. Um, you need to do your launch party. You need to schedule your launch party the day you sign up. If you're going to win, earn, not win, shooting star, you need to schedule your launch party the day you sign up because that only gives you 15 days to get 500. So you schedule your launch party you get your invitations out you start telling every single person you know that you're selling Cincy and you post your party on the website immediately so that when people start giving excuses why they can't come you tell them to go to your website and place an order place an order or give you an order so you want to post that party you get your invites you get that party done in less than 15 days that's how you're going to get your 500 in your first. Your launch party is so important. You are telling the world, everybody you know that you can think of, that you are starting a business. You are a business owner. Remember that. You're a business owner. You, don't, you own your own business. And you're telling everybody that. And the launch party is probably the most important thing as a new consultant that you can do. And I'm not minimizing that at all. I'm not overstressing it. Post it on your invite on your website, get your invites out, talk to people. One thing that I do, and I do this for all my home parties, so forgive me, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I do at other parties, because I'm I love home parties. It's what drives my business, it's what earns me those awards, it's what gets me on trips. I give people a little something for bringing a guest. Because you know what? If attendance is low, and give them something car bar, whatever you want to give them. Give them something for bringing a guest. Sometimes if I think attendance is going to be real low, I make it fun. I tell whoever wears purple, I'm going to give them a gift. I mean, whatever you can do to make it fun, exciting. And I promise you, you may think a little gift's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. If you're having trouble getting attendance up at your launch party or at your, any other party, offer some freebies, something free, okay, which you can use your perpetual award for. Get a six pack, no, where you have more than one thing. Okay, um, this is big for me. Now, at your launch party, you're gonna know who you invite, and you're gonna know your friends, and you're gonna know who they are, what their background is, and all that, all that. But when you do a regular party, it is so important that you know your audience. Talk to your hostess and know your audience. For example, 
nobody take offense. I'm going to be 62 years old here in a few days. And when I go in and I do a launch or a home party with a group of 25 to 30 year old stay at home moms, there's not a big connection. Okay. Our common ground is not there. So I learn who my audience is, and then I focus that party around who that audience is. Stay-at-home moms, what they do. I learn who they are before I set foot into that house to know who they are. If we're doing a sip and sniff and people want to just drink a lot of wine, I make sure I get that presentation in and, 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 and before everybody's drinking too much, okay? Know your audience. Know who they know are. Know their background. Know if they're first time users of Sensi, if they've used Sensi forever, or if they're Walmart shoppers. So important. Don't be blasted. I don't know, Patty, what you guys do. Y'all guys have Walmart? Sorry, I don't mean to be ignorant. That they use knockoffs. Uh, we, we have something called the warehouse over here, and I think uh, Australia has something called W. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's like the knockoff brand. Know that because there's nothing worse. Than being blindsided by a room full of women that are going to blast you about why they use Walmart, which is so easy to defend if there's no competition. I, I tell them there is no competition. But know your audience before you get there, especially when you're new and you're doing one of your first five um, parties, your launch party. Man, know who they are. Know who they are. I'm going to give you an example. I went with one of my new recruits to her launch party and it was all women that have used Scentsy for years. We got there, they knew which warmers they wanted, they know what wax they wanted, they were ready to give the order, eat, drink, and be done. And it was this girl's launch party, and here I am training her, trying to show her the little presentation to do, and what we're gonna do, and walk through this, and I was like, whoa, I gotta pull a rabbit out of the hat here, because I gotta go somewhere. So what I did is I talked about the Sensi Go. So I'm like, okay, how many of y'all have a Sensi Go? Who's heard of a Sensi Go? That sold 10 Sensi Goes at that party. And they all bought one because they all wanted what the other one wanted, what the other one wanted, because nobody was going to up anybody else in this crowd, right? And so we sold 10 of them. Because it was, and I had to think on my feet, and I was like, whoa, these are long-term Sensi users. They, some of them had known about Sensi before I ever have, and you have to play to the crowd. When you also, when you have your launch party, you, or you have to be so passionate and excited about what you're doing. Please don't have your launch party and tell everybody how nervous you are. Please don't, because you know what? You're building confidence. You're building trust and confidence with your customers. The reason I say that is because I was thinking today, I set myself a goal every month of how much I have to sell and recruit. And I don't go to bed on the 31st of the month until I'm done. And so I'm at that point where I, gotta, I need to sell a little bit more tonight and tomorrow. And I'm calling people, asking them to buy the Aladdin collection. Do y'all have Aladdin, Patty? Okay. So I'm gonna, I have people... that are buying Aladdin just because I called and asked them. They haven't smelled it, they haven't seen the packaging. I haven't even sent them the descriptions of the bars. They're buying it, you know why they're buying it? Because they trust me. They have confidence in me. We've built a relationship. When you are new, it is so important to build relationships with your customers. You've got to build the trust. If they don't trust you, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, maybe not eight years ago, but now there's too many people to buy Sensi from. There's a choice. So build that relationship. I had a customer tell me, one of my really great customers, she said, Denise, do you want to stand out above all the other consultants? I said, sure. What suggestion you got? She turned me on to these electrical things where you wrap the cord on them. They look real fancy from Amazon. They cost about 10 cents a piece. She goes, why don't you give one of those to your VIP customers as a thank you? People think you gave them a hundred dollar bill. I mean, it sets you apart from somebody else. Good customer service. Okay, let me come back around. Keep your party to two hours. If you don't, make it simple, 
easy, simple, easy. If you don't, no one else is going to want to have a party. Simple, easy, two hours. Okay. Um, do a brief introduction, get them engaged. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to sell Scentsy unless you get it under their nose. You got to have them smell it, touch it, feel it. It doesn't have to be the exact warmer they want. They have to see the warmer to make sure it's not a Walmart warmer, that it is a good quality. Why am I spending $50 for this warmer? Because it's dynamite. Why am I spending $30? It's dynamite. You've got to get the product in front of them. So important. I'm not a big Facebook party person. I struggle with it because I, I do so much easier where people can see it, touch it, feel it. So if you got to do a home party, a basket party, whatever that may be. Okay, here's my biggie. Make wish list. Everybody at your parties, every party, make a wish list. And you tell them that at the beginning because the people normally will go through a kettle and go, oh, I want that, I want that, and I want that. Then when it's time to order, they're going, well, I can only afford that. Make a wish list. Tell them all, have a piece of paper, make a wish list. Then when they come to sit with you, and by the way, sit away from the group, sit by yourself at a table where they come to you to do your orders. If you have a really big party, if I have over 10, then I usually have two consultants there. My team works together and we go help each other out. And you are taking orders with them privately. That's when you're asking them for a party. And that's when you're upselling. That's where you're upselling. I very rarely sell a bar of wax. I sell three or six. I do never, hardly ever sell a bar of wax. And they have a wish list. So then as you go through and you check it off, then it's, well, you want to do a party to earn the rest of these. You got them right there and they got the wish list. If they don't want to do the party, then they're ready to reorder take a picture of it. I have it. When I call back to see how they like everything, I know what they had on their wish list. Everybody needs a wish list. Everybody. Um, make it fun. If you don't make it fun, nobody's going to have a party. Throughout the whole party, when you're talking, you're constantly asking for a party. You're talking about recruiting. You're talking about the product. You're talking about everything. You do not have to overwhelm them at your launch party about every single product in your product guide. You do not, you do not have to stand there. Now, Jacqueline does a great catalog walkthrough that I learned from her, which she goes through and does several pages, but not the entire catalog. Okay, um, take orders in a private place. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ask for referrals. It's just one conversation away. When you're asking somebody for an order and you're going through and getting there, ask them for a referral. Do you know anybody else in my life, Sensi, that's a big candle lover? Do you know anybody else? Ask for a referral. Ask for a referral. Referrals are going to keep your business going over and over and over and over. Um, listen, to, listen to your guest. Listen. Are they talking about kids? Are they talking about whatever they're talking about? Will then help you to engage with them to talk about maybe laundry products or to talk about buddies. Um, whatever it may be, they just got back from Disneyland. What are you going to talk about? No brainer. Listen, sometimes we get so bogged into going, okay, here I am. I come to the party. I'm the Scentsy person and I know everything. And I'm here to tell you all about Scentsy and they're talking and they're sharing so much important information that you can just soak in, soak in to teach you to get that sale. It's that way for recruiting and selling. We listen. We listen, 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 listen. Okay, I know I got that much time. I'm sorry. See, I get so excited. I can't even, I get so excited talking about this stuff. I'm sorry. Okay, sometimes I offer a special, besides the regular host rewards, if I don't leave a party with at least one party, then I will order offer an incentive. Like I tell you what, anybody want to book a party, book it tonight on my schedule, free plug-in. If I don't get a party, I get a party from every party. If I don't, I offer a free plug-in. I use my perpetual, I pay it. Guess what? $10 pays off for another $500 party because you got to keep it rolling, 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 not selling to your family and friends and get outside your circle and know more and more and book more and book more and book more because that's how you're going to earn sensational start three. 
Listen, ask for referrals. You're only one conversation away from a sale, a recruit, or a referral. Customer service, already talked about that. Please, please, please make sure they fill out your order form, especially at your first parties and your launch party. Make sure they fill everything out, especially that email. Get them on your newsletter. Big mistake, must confess, didn't want to do it, didn't do it for almost a year. Big mistake. I'm, since I've gone back and I've added them all, but what a waste of time. Let them get that newsletter. I would say 10 to 15% of my sales are from people getting the newsletter that I don't even, now they don't order online usually, but they'll call me and say, hey, I got the newsletter. I saw that Aladdin collection. Hey, I saw that barbecue grill. Hey, I saw this because they're on the email. Since he's doing the work for you, do it up front. Um, follow up with guests that don't come. I don't care if it's your launch, your host, anybody that does not come that was invited, I follow up with. I get names and phone numbers from the hostess, my friends, whoever you invited and I follow up. I'm really sorry you couldn't make it. Would you like to place an order? Here's the online. You can call me by this date. I don't leave the window way open. Follow up with them. Those, those people are all potential sales. Okay, I talked way too long and I have more to say, but I've talked way too long and there's too many other, two other two wonderful people to talk, so I'm gonna stop. And if you guys want any more information, want me to share, you know who I am. I am Denise Giardinay on Facebook. You can message me. I love this. I've had people tell me that my passion and love show just when I talk about it on my face. And that's because I do love it. And right now I love giving other people hope. I love giving people who thought they could never succeed the skills to succeed like I have. And I wish you all the very best of luck. And you have some incredible leaders to help you if you're on this call. And um, thanks for listening. And I'm going to turn it over to Shonda. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulty, y'all. So this gives a whole new meaning to you can work your business anywhere. Literally, you can. Thank goodness my husband brought me a flashlight so I could even uh, be on here. <laughs> we are at the lake where we have a place and we come up on the weekends a lot. And I work my business here just like I work my business at home. So it, it gives me the, a good balance of being able to be with my family and have some fun and do the things I want to do and still work my business. So no excuses. I'm one of those that doesn't allow excuses at all. Um, because if you want to make this work, you can make it work. So um, as Denise said, I'm Shonda Clayton. I'm a star director from Mississippi. And uh, Unlimited Potential is my team, my group. Super, super proud of them. They're having a great month. Some of y'all are, are on that team. And we are so excited for you to help you get started with your business. Um, a little bit about me right quick. I've been doing Scentsy for almost nine years now, and I am a registered nurse. I've not worked in nursing for the last two and a half years due to Scentsy because I have left that career. I was kind of getting burned out with that career. I leave nursing, work my Scentsy business full time, and get to do all the fun things in life that I want to do. Um, I'm a lot like Denise. I love the, the awards that Scentsy does. Um, I've earned annual sales and annual mentor and um, lots of trips. Oh my gosh, we've gone on so many trips. We're all about to get to see each other again on a trip. So that incentive will be coming soon where you can earn an incentive trip. And I hope to see all of you there and earning that. Um, but I'm just gonna jump right in and let's talk about putting in PRV. So one of the biggest mistakes I see new consultants make is not putting parties in on their workstation. A lot of new consultants will go to their website and place their orders like a customer would do. And that is not the best way for you to reap the rewards of being a consultant and it's not the best way for your customer to reap those rewards, so, or your hostess. So, um, and you know, 
as we always say, it's different in New Zealand and Australia. Other regions are, are different than us, but 200 PRV is what you have to have to have a qualifying party. Now, a qualifying party means that you're going to get host rewards. So whether you are the hostess or whether you have a friend or family member that is hosting the party for you, you want that person or yourself to be able to get those rewards, right? So 200 PRV is what you need to put in in order to get those rewards. In the U.S., there is free shipping, probably because Cincy is based in the U.S. Um, so you also have to have 200 PRV for that free shipping. That is not available in other regions, just so y'all know that. Um, so you want to put those orders in on your workstation. You want to put them in as a party. As you are joining, you're gonna have that checklist that pops up on your homepage when you sign into your workstation. It is very important to go through that checklist, watch all the videos, do all the things, click on all the links, Y'all, they didn't send you that for the fun of it. They sent you that because it literally is important for you to do. They teach you how to put a party in on, the, on that, work, on that um, checklist. So very important to do that. Even after that, you may forget all those things and say, oh, I have no idea how to put a party in. I can't find that checklist now that I've completed it. There is a video on the training center on your workstation that teaches you how to put parties in. And you can Google it as well. Um, so there's, there's lots of information out there if you are seeking it. You definitely wanna be a part of your director's page if your director has one. And I think every, every director that is represented here, I'm pretty sure has a page or, or the star director or superstar director above them has a page. So you should have a Facebook page that you can go to and get tips from other consultants and learn from them. It's very important, participate in that. Um, so that's all I wanna talk about with the 200 PRV. We definitely wanna get that 200 PRV in every time you put a party in. Otherwise, it, you know, you're gonna have people order from your workstation at, or from your website, I'm sorry. People will order from your website and that is great, but you should always have a open party so that when they do order from your PWS or your website, they can get, uh, they can choose that party that you have listed and whoever your hostess is, whether it's you or somebody else, there's, they're going to accrue those rewards, even though that's an online order. And just so you know, online orders ship out immediately. So if somebody's in a hurry for something, but they want to order it from your hostess, they can jump on your PWS, pick that party, place their order. It's going to go ahead and ship to them then and your hostess is still gonna get, get the rewards from that. So that's very important. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about building a relationship or building a reputation. And Denise, she kind of touched on this a little bit when she was talking about building relationships because your reputation and relationships go hand in hand. So um, the first thing you want to understand is that as a consultant, you want a positive, you want, you want people to look at you in a positive light. You want people to see you as successful. You want people to, people want to be around good energy. You know what I'm saying? So people, if they see you and you're excited about this business and you're loving what you're doing, they're going to want to be a part of that. So keep your social media posts positive. Um, when you post something negative on social media, that's just kind of a downer for people. And, and some people will immediately just remove you from their Facebook. They don't want to see that negative stuff because there's so many negative things in this world. And we just want to see happy people. We want to see people that are being successful and doing good things. And that's the kind of people that we really want to be around. So try to keep your post positive. You know, I'm not saying not to be authentic. We want you to be authentic for sure. And, you know, if, if you're having a hard time or something, reach out. Reach out to somebody to help you. But just don't, you know, Facebook vomit, as we say. Just don't do that because we don't want people to feel like, you know, Cincy's not a good thing. These people are unhappy. 
because obviously since he's not what's making you unhappy, right? So another thing that you can do is deliver your orders on time. And that is so important. Get those orders delivered quickly. Don't have your customers calling you saying, where's my stuff? Is it in yet? Sometimes that will happen. It takes seven to 10 business days for the orders to ship um, once the orders are placed. So know that ahead of time. So when you put a party in, it's going to be seven to 10 days. I'm one of those 10 day people. I know my orders are going to take 10 days and my customers know that. So no big deal there. They know that ahead of time and I make sure that I keep them informed on what's going on. Um, spend just a small amount of money to make their orders special. You know, um, you can buy the clear bags from Scentsy, 10 of them for a dollar, and a warmer and several bars will fit in there. Buy some cheap ribbon, big spools of ribbon that are on sale, and put just a little piece of ribbon on that to tie it up. Make it look nice. It looks like a gift to them, and they're going to love it that much more. So um, just spend just a little bit of time doing whatever you can to make their their order look like something special. You want them to feel like they are special, and since he's not a cutthroat business at all, it's not one of those businesses where everybody's trying to take your customers away and all that, because we just, we just don't work like that. And everybody is so good to help each other. So don't be afraid to share, you know, with each other because nobody's going to take your customers away. And if you're really good to your customer and you treat them like the VIP that they are, guess what? they're not gonna go buy from somebody else because they're gonna feel like they're cheating on you, right? They're gonna feel like, oh my gosh, I can't buy from this other person because if she finds out, she would be crushed, right? Or he would be crushed. I'm not forgetting about you, Matthew. <laughs> um, and we have several guys. I love that. It is so good to see some guys join in, Cincy. I love it. And they're super successful too. So um, make their order special make it something that they're excited to receive. And also when you go drop that order off and it's done up with a cute little bow or it's got a name tag hanging off of it, other people that didn't place an order are gonna see that and they're gonna say, hmm, I really like this person. This is a great consultant and I think I'm gonna order something on this next party. So be helpful to others. If, if you have a team page, like I said, be an active participant on that page. Make sure that you are giving more than you take. Post questions on there. There are people that want to help you. I promise you, your team page is like the best place in the world. You don't even know it yet, but post your questions on there. Um, more than likely, when you post a question, there are several other people that are thinking the same thing, and they're gonna post, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you said this because I was wondering the same thing. And the thing about posting on your team page, most of us have teams that are spread all over the US, even in other countries, Patty's in New Zealand. I mean, there's people everywhere. And so when you're posting on the team page, there's somebody that's awake almost all hours of the night, right? So make sure that you're posting there. Um, as I was saying, be helpful, be arrows out. You know, it's only gonna take you a second to do something nice for somebody, to answer a question for somebody, to share a tip with somebody. And you're gonna see that on your team pages. So the good things that you see, try to duplicate those, you know, make it your own, but try to duplicate the good things that you're seeing in other consultants. And, you know, if you have somebody that you just feel like is a rock star, make sure that you are following them. Follow them on Facebook, follow them on YouTube if they have a YouTube. There are some really awesome rock star consultants out there. And there's a training on almost everything you could ever imagine. Um, I'm not one to say go join all these groups, go join all these groups, but there is a really good group called Discover Your Aha Moment, and there, there's every topic in the world is covered on there. Um, there's everything from fundraisers to basketball, whatever you can imagine, I promise you, you can find it on Discover Your Aha Moment. So request to join that page, you'll get approved pretty quickly. And sometime when you're just sitting around going, okay, what can I do for my business today? Jump on there and pick up. So I know that's pretty short, but 
I bet Patty's got something to say. So I'm going to hand it over to her and she's going to finish us out. Hey everyone. Thanks Shonda. Oh my gosh. You guys, I've just been sitting here listening to all these amazing women and I'm like, I'm still taking notes. So um, there's some things I was like, people do that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good to know. So even as a leader, learning from other leaders is really important. Um, my name is Patty Wonder. I am a director of Team Wonder Bar. I hear somebody with background noise. I cannot tune things out. I don't have kids. <laughs> so, um, is Jack still here? Can she hear? Actually, I can. I can't mute. mute it. Nicole, it's you. Can you can you mute your audio? Do you know how? Thanks. Sweet. Thank you. I'm like looking, looking. All right. I I am like a squirrel. So I am here today to talk to you kind of about, you got lots of amazing, amazing tips from everybody just now, like lots of amazing tips. And if you go to the first one that we did like this, more tips and more feedback. Um, I started Sensi, obviously I'm not a Kiwi. Um, I live in New Zealand, but I call Chicago home really born in Wisconsin, but I don't like to admit that. Sorry, Wisconsin people. Um, and, um, they, this family is incredible and this company is incredible but what makes this business incredible is how you look at everything it's definitely your attitude everybody can learn things you know they always say 90 percent is attitude and 10 percent is like your what what you learn we can if anybody has a good attitude and is willing to learn you can go so far because we can teach you everything but if you're closed off, if you have a negative mindset, if you shoot all of our ideas down, if you come to us saying, I can't do this, and we say, well, what have you done? <laughs> and you say, I asked three people. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, no, that's not going to do it. Um, you have to be okay with feedback and wanting to learn. I have some amazing people on my team that know they're going to hear it from me straight. I don't sugarcoat stuff. Um, and I, but I do ask, do you want this real or do you want this sugar coated? And if I have to sugar coat, I have to just step back a second and go, hold on, give me a minute. Um, but there is, it's really a simple business. This business is so simple. Remember in kindergarten when you had show and tell, this is my kitty. It's got kitty ears on it. This is my kitty cup and I got it here and blah, 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 blah. You stood up in front of your class and did show and tell. That's sensey. <laughs> That's your job. You're a professional show and teller, um, not pen and teller. That's totally different. Um, here, sniff this. Oh, what do you think? Oh, cool, huh? Oh, yeah. And then they ask you, oh, what does it come in? Oh, does it? It's not hard. It's, it's not hard. It's not a hard business. It's a very simple business. But you have to take the work. So your attitude is a huge thing with that. I started Sensi um, two weeks after having my first back operation. And I was already part of another um, direct selling company. And um, I literally didn't know what Scentsy was. I had never seen it. I had never smelled it. Nothing. <laughs> and it kind of spread over Facebook. Scentsy's coming to New Zealand. It was like a disease. Um, and I was like, hmm, I remember hearing kind of about Scentsy. One of my friends, when she got her Scentsy, um, delivery from her consultant, she would post things. And I was like, Oh, right. Okay. I think I remember what this is. And I went and did some research and all I could think was, wow, they need this here. They need this here. They don't have anything like that here. And my mom would always send me wax melts from, um, Walmart to use in my burners. Um, and people would love them, but I go, no, you can't have them. <laughs> so, um, I was like, Oh, I have no idea if I like this or not but I have to, I have to recover from my operation anyway. So I'll just do this and it'll give me a chance to read up on products and get to know things. So this is, so I contact a girl from high school cause I think I remember her posting something on Facebook a long time ago. And I said, do you do Sensi? And she said, yeah. And I said, um, would you like somebody from New Zealand on your team? And she's like, well, you know, if you decide, I said, no, no, no. I've decided, do you want somebody on your team? 
And she's like, oh, sure. And I said, okay, I'll be joining on the first day. So I joined at 1.56 a.m. because they said we could join at 2 a.m. And I tried early. That's just me. And um, I got in. And the next day, so that was at, remember, like 2 o'clock in the morning. There was the next day, there was a call. We had a online steps. At that point, it was a phone call thing. And I got on there. And um, in, the, in that short amount of time, because that was what, one o'clock? somewhere between one o'clock and three o'clock. I don't know what time differences. Um, I had already got a recruit. <laughs> I had posted something on Facebook and said, woo. And my neighbor went, oh my God, that looks like fun. Can I join too? Sure. So she joined and she came over and we watched this training and they did a booking blitz. And I was like, what the hell is a booking blitz? And so we did a booking blitz and Jacqueline told us exactly what to say. And so we had 20 minutes to message everybody we could think of and um, try to get some party bookings. And I was like, okay, I didn't, this is one thing if I can tell you, if you cannot think so much and you can just do and take action, it will make things so much simpler. Don't, stop taking everything personally. Stop thinking it's all about you. There, people don't say no to you because it's you. They just maybe, like candles and they know what Scentsy is and maybe they're not interested in Scentsy or, or maybe they just can't have any sense in the house. I don't know, whatever. It's I, my point is that it's not personal. Most of the time if it's personal. You should know that if it's personal. <laughs> so um, be proud of what you do, be excited about what you do and be enthusiastic. If you have to hide or you have to, um, kind of do sensing on the down low, it makes it really hard. I have a couple people that keep trying to hide it from their husbands. And I'm like, I'm trying to give you shout outs, girl, you're doing this or you're not doing that. Like, oh, I can't talk about it around other people. I don't want them to think this, or I don't want them to think that. Why do you care what people think? They're not paying your bills. There is a mindset that comes with just, just do. If you want to go somewhere, I always tell my team, I'm your GPS. You tell me what, what you want to do, where you want to go, and by when you want to get there. And I will show you the quickest, easiest route to get there. It's your job to put your butt in the car and press the accelerator and go. And yes, we will probably reroute a couple times um, because fear struck in or self-doubt struck in or something, or you cared what people thought or something like that. But I tell you what, if you just trust the process and just keep it fun, a lot of people take the fun out of it. This is a fun business. Where else can we literally go here, smell this, and it's not offensive? Hello. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, here, smell this. You're going to love it. You know, it's not like a man's pull your finger. It's a Scentsy Wax Bar. <laughs> so, so we went to this, we did this booking blitz on this call within less than 24 hours of me joining. And I did exactly what Jacqueline said, but in other regions, they take things differently and they, they, the words are used differently and there's different verbiage and how they, somebody said, it's not English, it's American when I speak, <laughs> I speak American, um, because English is different. And I'm like, whatever, Earl used to say that all the time. And I said, wickless candles in my text. Oh, I've just joined this amazing um, home, home wickless candle thing, whatever I was saying at the time. And I had immediately three responses that said, Oh, I don't do candles. Mm -mm, we don't do candles. Um, the other thing is we are heavy with earthquakes in the South Island, especially, but in the North Island too of New Zealand. So when a house shakes, the last thing they need is a fire on top of that. So a lot of people don't do candles anymore. Um, and <laughs> And I immediately went, oh, because I got three in a row. And I went, mm, okay. So kind of like what Denise says, you need to learn to read the room, but you also need to learn to read the responses and listen, like Denise said, even in text. Like, what are they saying? So they're not saying no to the idea. They're saying no to candles. <laughs> I haven't offered them candles. Okay, let me try this again. So I removed those words and I put um, a fragrance, a home fragrance company. I got eight party bookings that day in that 20 minutes. Now I don't have kids. I'm an immigrant. I'm an introvert. I don't like leaving my house. Um, I am not a people ish. Like I'm not a peopler. I don't, I don't 
get my energy from going out and being amongst people. I'm an introvert. I get my energy from being away from people. So, um, so I didn't think though, that's the thing. She said, don't just, just send it out. And I went, all right. <laughs> so I just text every single person I could in my phone. I text, I looked on Facebook and went, oh yeah. And I just kept going until the 20 minutes. I didn't think, I just messaged. That's my first thing. Did I know how to do a Scentsy party? Nope. Never been to one. Never, didn't have my kit. I didn't get my kit for over two weeks, just to give you an idea back then. Um, I'd know nothing. I just did what she said. Do this. Okay. So I did. Those eight bookings took me two and a half years worth of business. For the first two years of my business, I did two to four parties a week. Did I know that I was going to do that? Nope. But saying that, honest to God, people are like, oh, I don't want to do parties. Well, great. Then you don't mind going slower or you're really going to have to get out there and shake your, you know, shake your tail feather because when you have limited time, the smartest thing you can do is show Sensi to a group of people as opposed to doing one person coffee here and one person coffee there and oh, let's meet at the campground there or let's meet here and have us. Now, don't get me wrong. Those appointments are great and I love those appointments and a lot of times it's kind of the first layer of the onion. They find what they love and then they decide to have a party because now they know, like, and trust you and they know that they love and trust the product. So they want more of it, but they don't want to pay it. So sometimes it is a layering process. A lot of things in this business are not instant. So that would be another thing that I would love to tell you about, because I think sometimes when, when I see new consultants come on lately, they, the first thought is to put on a business page and I'm going, that's really not the most important thing today. <laughs> the most important thing is that you get it out and you talk to people and you communicate and you offer it. Um, I don't even like the word ask. I don't think asking people to have a party that puts it into what they can do for you as opposed to what you can do for them. So I offer, do you want some free, how you want some free product? Do you know you don't have to pay full price for everything in our catalog, don't you? You know, so um, I do offer booking things and that's a whole nother subject, but there is, there's something magic about a party and there's something magic about those relationships you build. I like Denise, I'm not, I don't do Facebook parties. I just don't, I don't have that. And they, I've tried, don't get me wrong. I've tried and they've kind of went, <clears throat> um, but my mindset has always went, all right, well, that's not my thing. I don't cry about it. I don't whine about it. I don't go, oh, I'm quitting Sensi because she said no. Um, you know, have you asked 100 people? Legit, have you talked to 100 people? You have your list of 100. Have you contacted every single one of them, honestly, and had a conversation? Or have you sat and analyzed the hell out of that list because you're like, oh, I don't know. She's so busy. I don't want to bother her. Oh, uh, don't assume things for other people and speak for other people because you don't like it when they do it to you. So your job as a consultant is simply to offer it. That's it. You are not attached to that response. Whether they say yes or they say no, you still like them. They still like you. It has nothing to do with that. It is not it's, it's just your job to offer. It's just like your job to offer the opportunity. Oh my gosh, have you ever thought about doing this? Oh, I think you'd be great at it. No, great. I still need customers too. Awesome. No worries. I just thought you'd be great. Like it doesn't have to be so serious and it doesn't have to be so drawn out. And um, I want you to believe in yourself. I'd say 90% of the people that join, especially in my downline, they don't believe in themselves. And I'm going to be really straight here. A lot of them go, no, no, <clears throat> I'm not doing this. I don't want to do parties. I'm just here just to do it as a, as a casual or a hobby. But I know, I know within the first probably 48 hours, if they're lying, they just are telling me that because they don't want to admit that they're afraid that they won't succeed. So they're giving themselves the permission to not succeed. Oh, I hope, I hope this works. Everybody knows I hate the word hope. Um, because this works when you do. 
And is it always like smooth and unicorns and rainbows? Absolutely not. Nothing in life is. But let me tell you what, you don't appreciate all the easy things all the time. Sometimes you need to go through it. And sometimes things happen for a reason. You think you wanted that person and she didn't join under you and she joined under somebody else and you go, three months later, you go, hmm, hmm, okay, <laughs> that was good. So just do you, be you. One of the greatest things about Sensi is they let you be who you are and they encourage you to be whoever you are. They don't care if you're male, female, gay, straight, Christian, pagan, pink hair, brown hair, blonde hair. They do, everybody is welcome. Even awards night, you don't have to wear sequin gowns. You can wear shorts and a t-shirt if you really want. It is an everyone welcome opportunity. And your biggest asset in this business is you. Because nobody else can be you. Bring the essence of you and stop caring what everybody else is doing and what everybody else is thinking. In the beginning, I'm, I basically went and taught myself how to do this business on YouTube. My sponsor did basically almost nothing to help me. And I kind of just went, all right, I'll just watch YouTube. I'll just watch YouTube. <laughs> and I watched YouTube. And I watched sometimes the same videos four or five times a day. I wrote out flashcards because I hated talking in front of people. And I went to parties and I held flashcards for the first year and a half of my business until I got asked to speak on stage somewhere in front of 250 people. <laughs> And the only reason why I said yes was because I know I'd get a prize and I'm a prize for. Um, so I said, okay. And they put my little Britney Spears. And then after that, I went, oh my God, well, if I can do that, I can do a home party. You need to get over yourself, Patty. So I stopped using flashcards after that. But you can feel the fear, but you can still move through it. And you can still, I still to this day, I do over a hundred home parties a year. And I still can get in my car after every home party and just go, oh, so glad that's over. <laughs> and all the way there, I'm just going, oh, I need happy music. I still, I st it's a funny thing. I, I enjoy them when I'm there. I love having them. There's nothing better than walking out with 20 order forms. That's my real rush because I love sales. Um, but honestly, it is still, oh, one, leaving my house. Two, Oh, I'm going to say the wrong thing or whatever you're going to think. Just be yourself. If you come from a place in your heart that's true and honest and genuine and transparent and you put them first, you know, um, Denise kind of hinted at the fact that I went through some grief and, and I did. And my, my man, the reason why I moved to this country, passed away in December. I still did a party the day of his funeral. This business and all the people in this business and all the people that around the world that I have met and call friend and see, I earn Sensi trips. So here's my other thing quickly and then I'll, I'll wrap up. <clears throat> I've never had to work to earn a trip. And what do I mean by that? Because some of you may be like, I wanted those free trips. I want those free trips. I earned my first trip. Um, to leadership within my first three months of Sensi. So remember, I was just going to read stuff and then I got eight party bookings. <laughs> and then I got my consultant guide. And again, I'm a prize whore. So I, I went immediately to re awards and went, what can I get? And I, I'm known for my charm. I have charm necklaces because the bracelets I cannot get on and have it all stay on. It all falls on the floor. So I went to necklaces <laughs> Cause that was easier to do. Um, and, and Shonda's got like the coolest pin thing. Her collection of pins is amazing. Um, <clears throat> and that was kind of how, I think if you're recognition and, and, and prize based, I think it's a little bit easier because you always have that dangle here, come get me. Um, and that's all I need. It could be a pink pen for God's sakes. And I'll be like, I'm on it. <laughs> um, so I went there and went, oh, I get a charm if I get 2,000 PRV a month. Okay, I'll do that. I have had most, I'd say, I've been with Sensi now like four years, a little over four years. And I think I've missed a 2,000 charm maybe three times, maybe something like that. And it's because of the charm. 
it, and yes, the paycheck is a lot nicer when you get 2000 PRV, but here's the other thing. When you're getting 2000 PRV, it means you're connecting with more people. Your sales are already in the bag. You're meeting more people, so your, your customer base is growing, and you're meeting people who want to join you because you're having fun, because you're making money. It's like this whole cycle. So the trips kind of happen. You don't have to like freak out and do any, I don't have to do anything out of my ordinary habits to earn a trip because all the things I do already kind of almost guarantee the trip. If you know, Orville did something called the four chords. There's a video and, um, and it's a very simple business. You just share the business with two people every month. You have at least 500 PRV. You do something for you and you take care of yourself and you have five buying people at each party. Like those are the four chords that if you want the success to go, this works. I prefer the 2000 PRV as opposed to the 500 PRV. It makes a lot of things easier. Um, but again, if you came in for a hobby, then just do that. Don't compare yourself to everybody else, but know that if you want more, all you have to do is let us know. I think a lot of people don't let us know, but we can't read minds. <laughs> so come and go, okay, I'm scared. Out of, oh, I'm scared, you know, shitless. And I, I want this, but I'm afraid because that's transparency and that is awesome. And that at least allows us to get to know you and to help you in the right way. So with that, um, I hope you all have an amazing journey. Get that shooting star done. Get your sensational start. Because again, prizes, free product. Hello. Um, mm -hmm, you want that. And um, register for Sensi Family Reunion. That's another thing I'm going to tell you. And I think somebody is doing the a drawing for prizes from this call. So is that Denise? Who's doing who's doing prize draws? No? I don't know. Um Jacqueline Roy, are you still here? I've got them written down, Patty. I think do so. you? Because I'm like Okay, Sean is gonna do it. Woohoo! Jacqueline says, "Hang on, she's getting on." Hello. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? All right. So, are did you want me to do the random the the winners? Yes, please. I wasn't sure who was doing them. So oh, I was like I calling. Was gonna, let me, let me do them right now. I'm using <laughs> random.org. Just going to give me two numbers. Uh, oh, did you do it? <laughs> Shada sounds like she's drunk because she's like blurbing from the, from the buffer. <laughs> <laughs> Shonda, are you doing it or me too? Oh, I think she cut out. Okay. Well, Oh, it's cutting out. I can't hear. Are you there now? I think it's beach issues. <laughs> I've got <laughs> Hey, can you type it in the chat, Shonda? <sighs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> yeah, Shonda. Oh, there we go. Okay, Nicole Baca. Yay. Let me write this down. Yeah. Okay. She's so excited. She sounds like Eve. She sounds like um. What's that Star Wars guy? Chewbacca. Yes. <laughs> Chewbacca Clayton. Chewbacca. Yep. And then Sean to type in then the second winner. Nicole, congratulations, Adele McGuire. That sounds like a movie star name. It does. You sound like a movie star. This is a hot. <laughs> Donda, we can't hear you. It's cutting out. You sound drunk. Yeah, you do sound. <laughs> Girl, you put down that margarita. <laughs> okay, so. Um, oh, did I say three winners? If I said three, type another one in. I can't remember if I said two or three. It looks like you already got another one. 
So type in the third if you did draw a third one, Shonda. And then Nicole and Adele, I'm going to put an email in here. So if you will email me your address, that would be great. Go ahead and do one more, Shonda. Can you guys hear me okay, Patty? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So Adele and Nicole, email me, nursejackie83yahoo.com, your address, and I will get your price sent in the mail. Can we play the only one that's a little gurgly? I know. Debbie Grimes. I'm gonna write this down too. As long as you're in my downline too, I can look you up. Debbie Grimes. Okay, so Debbie Grimes, email me. I'm gonna put it in there one more time at yahoo.com. Email me your address and I will get your prizes sent. Um, Denise, is that one of yours? Because you said yay. <laughs> um, I was just saying yay to all of them. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, thank you so much for getting on tonight. Um, Patty and Denise and Kelsey and Shonda, you girls were amazing. I am going to upload this to YouTube and I'm going to share it with all my leaders to send out to you guys. So that way if you have recruits that couldn't get on, they can watch it back. Um, I never win. I'm excited. All right, Debbie, make sure you email me. So I have your info. Um, but thank you. Thank you again for spending time okay. with tonight. And we just hope that you get off to a great start. And we all want to see you su succeed. So please share your success stories after next month and the month after. And if you go to SFR because of this training tonight, come find all, all of us and give us a big old hug. So well, you can send Patty a virtual hug over in New Zealand if you come to the US SFR. So, um, but we love you guys. Thank you so well, you much. Can come to the Aussie one. You can come to the Aussie SFR, it's fine. And there you go. Yeah, go cross the pond, no big deal. It's a write off. Few, it's a tax write off, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, just a few hour plane trip, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Debbie, um, I don't need your email. Email me your address, please. That would be fantastic. So, all righty. Well, we'll get off here, but I will record this now. And thank you all my leaders for being so incredible tonight.